Howdy folks, welcome back to more PGA Tour 2K21 and another rookie design competition course. And this one is a Valley del Oso and it is by Kenny D2411. So let's have a look at the settings. We are on the fairways are firm, the greens are firm, green speeds fast, time of day is afternoon, the weather is overcast. And we are going off the blue tees, four sets of tees here. Tees here, should I say? Red tees, gold tees, white tees, and blue tees. We are going off the blue, 6,991 yards. Let's get into it. Now, I think this is one of the first ones published, to be honest, because it was published on January the 14th, and it's had over 300 plays, 340 odd plays on the PC. And um, it was actually up on page three, but Kenny. Kenny D2411 messaged me in the comment section of one of the other rookie design contests and asked me to have a look at it. So I totally missed it, but here we are. Okay, let's get the old sky cam up. I've got my blooming RGB turned off. I always play in the dark. I never have a light on when I'm playing. And I've went in my settings. Because when I watch videos and that, I turn all my RGBs off. And I'll have to look to see where my bloody key was there. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, I've got, like, everything I've got here is, is like, Corsair. I've got a Corsair keyboard, a Corsair mouse, a Corsair uh, mouse mat, uh, Corsair fans in, in my PC, and they're all RGB, and I'll have, I have them all lit up. I don't go with, like, the rainbow color and all that. I kind of tend to have them, like, just pure white. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, this just look nice. So what it says here, Hi, everyone. My entry for the rookie contest, Valle del Oso has now been published. The course is set in the Andalusian region of Spain. Taking inspiration from the cork trees and dry hilly landscapes found in the area. That's a nice bit of planting down there. Let's have a let's go down and have a little look at that. Very nice. Alright, where was I? Do, 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 do. Yeah, given the Spanish heat, the greens are fairly firm and fast. Accuracy off the tee is paramount, given the fairways a verge on the narrower side. Oh, I don't like to hear that. <laughs> but mind you, the last couple of rounds I've played, I've played pretty nice, pretty well, to be honest. That's pretty nice as well. Do you like the rock work around the sort of little lake here? Let's go and have a look at the plot. The course has a par of 71, featuring five par fives. Featuring, f no, sorry, five par threes and four par fives of varying lengths. The round is an interesting one, with the front nine winding its way around the boundary of the property, gradually rising until reaching the high point at the eighth tee. The ninth and tenth circle one of the four lakes before heading up onto the hill for the short par five eleventh. Right, as with all these rookie design competition courses, I will put a link in description to the the forum page over at TGC Tours. As I always say, go over, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, tell them what you like, tell them what you didn't like. Don't forget, these are rookie design courses, so feedback is quite good for them. As long as it's um, nice feedback, not, uh, you know what I mean? How do you say it? <laughs> I can't remember the word I'm looking for now. Now this is constructive criticism that's the word i'm looking for there you go oh that is nice down here what oh, do like that that is very nice and yeah, you got the walk coming through the rocks there look at that oh yeah i like that very nice you've got the little windmills up there on the hill in the hillsides now i actually lived in spain for about Ooh, seven or eight months when I was 18, 19. Uh, my mum and dad moved over there uh, when he was made redundant. They bought a bar and stuff like that. Uh, they lasted about two or three years. They, they ended up getting homesick and missed the grandparents and all that. So they, they, they came back to the, to the UK. Now, I went over there when I was 18, 19. And to be honest, if they didn't come back, I probably would have ended up being an alcoholic. <laughs> I used to go out every night getting absolutely pissed. Every bloody night I was out getting drunk. And I had a few oh, bad nights as well. There was one night I was in this bar 
and it had like a metal spiral staircase, which is blooming stupid for a bar, to be honest. And I got about halfway down. I was absolutely hammered. And I took a trip, fell the rest of the way down. But I never knew until the morning when I went home, like uh, I made my way home somehow. Uh, when I got up in the morning uh, from the bottom of my foot, uh, where my ankle was and my heel all the halfway up my shin was all black and blue and I couldn't walk on it I actually thought I'd bust it but I hadn't and then there was another night we actually stayed in like this this uh, like a gated complex and I forgot my key this night and the, the, the big gates on the front of it were locked and they've got like barbed wire over the top of it so me absolutely hammered goes to climb over the bloody gate and as I jump over I, I sort of left my hand at the top on this barbed wire and it just ripped my hand to shreds all the way down through the palm of my hand <laughs> up the wire yeah so if I never came back to the UK mum and dad I'd probably be dead by now I would have been an alcoholic Oh, it's crazy. It was just so cheap. And what we used to do, we used to go out every night with the different bar owners. Well, I did anyway. And you never paid them. And what you do is you go in the next night and say, how much do I owe you for last night? And they'll just say, ah, so many uh, bloody pesetas or whatever it was called. And you just, just give them it. But it was always like, even though it was dirt cheap, it was always like half price for the bar owners and things like that. And because I was like the, the son of one of the bar owners over there. It was, it was quite nice the way they did it, though. They go to a different sort of bar, you know what I mean? Give them more custom. Like, I mean, they didn't go out every night, but when a lot of the bars closed, you'd go to one of the bars, uh, spend a couple of hours there, spend some money. And then like a couple of nights later, you go to a different one of the bars just to give them more custom and things like that. Yeah, it was, it was quite nice. I really enjoyed my, my time over there, though. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's just have a, a, another look at the course here. Oh, that was quite nice down here, didn't it? This little sort of entryway down here. There I am there on the first tee. Oh, look at that. Through the trees and stuff. Nice little pathway. Yeah, yeah, that's actually caught the vibe of um, sort of Spain. It does look nice. Right, I think we shall get on to the first tee. I do like the lakes and that there. I've actually missed a few bits as I've been chittering, chattering away. Oh, you've got like a little village type thing up here, up on the hills. Very nice. Again, nice bit of plant here, different colours and that. Nice bit of use of the sort of white and the sort of reddish pinkish there. Okay, let's head over this way a little bit. Again, nice planting around the this little pond here. Got the lily pads, and you, again, you've got the water coming through the rocks and that there as well. And that's what sort of feeds the, the water there, that little sort of creek just coming down there. Very nice. Again, I'm going to say it, I've said it with all of these um, rookie design competitions. Uh, courses this year this has been the best year by far uh, these guys have absolutely mocked it out of the park this year it's been running for a couple of years now and as i said i think this tops all of them to be honest absolutely cracking all these courses that i've played so far okay so i think we've seen quite a bit there's somebody else just jumped into pga there let's have a look at this bit over here very nice I think we'll get on to the first tee and we'll get this started. The wind seems to, sound like it's sort of picking up. What we got? Oh no, it's only four mile an hour. It sounded a lot blooming higher when I was uh, running around there. Okay, first hole, 445 yards, uh, six foot down. And let's see if we can hit a nice one off the tee here. Yeah, not too bad. That should hold the fairway. It's going to pull it over to the left. Yeah, that'll do. Not a bad drive, actually. 300 and just under 320. Okay, what we've got here? 147.7 up, so it's playing. Right about 149. So I think we'll put just a little bit of loft on it. I don't want to go too far because I want to stay away from this sloped area here. So let's aim it a little bit to the left out. Let's hope we can get close. Okay, we get the perfect 100% as well. I usually hit 101, 102%, but that is okay. 
Okay, ball, stop, stop, stop. Looks like it's a bit of a slope at the back there, but it held the green. That's not too bad. Okay, what have we got? 179 green speed. So uh, quite pacey, 20 feet, four inches up. It's got a slight turn right to left here. Oh, get in there. And we drop one on the first. Nice birdie. Hey, was that a birdie? Yep. <laughs> okay, second hole, par five. This is 540 yards, 24 feet down. And this looks very reachable in two. Oh, again, we're hitting a fast. That didn't feel like a fast to me. So I'm going to have to slow this swing down a little bit. Come on, bounce, bounce. Oh, yes, on the fairway. Lovely. And tell you what, that is not bad. 330. Definitely going to reach the green too. Let's have a look at the front of the green here, though. Oh, there's a big slope right at the front of the green. If I hit that, that slope at the front there, it'll probably kill the ball. I'm going to have to go with it, though, for the four iron, I reckon. Again, as I said, if it hits the front of that green, it's just going to stop. Oh, again, the fast. 102%. Oh, come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, is it going to make it? Oh, just off the fringe. That's not too bad from there, though. Little chip down. Let the slope take it down. We get the perfect turn. Go on. That'll do. Okay, we got another birdie. Good start. Okay, third hole, par three, uh, 125, five feet down. And you know, if you watch me, I do love the little par threes. Always love the little par threes. All right. Ooh, hoo, hoo, this could be tough. Let's bring that all the way down, I reckon, to about there. Oh, this, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. No, I think that's too much loft. Let's put it up there a little bit. Nice, we get it perfect, 100%. It's turning okay, depends on distance. Come on, get up, oh. Oh, that is, that's not bad actually. It pitched absolutely pin high there. And we get another birdie, wow. As I said on my last video, I'm actually surprised that I'm playing a lot better than what I usually do for some reason. I haven't changed anything, I haven't um, been in the driving range, I haven't uh, recalibrate your clubs or anything like that. I think it's just a bit more concentration. Here we go. That's not too bad. That should hold the fairway. Right. Fourth hole. Well, we've got 131, 19 up. So that's playing around about 137. Let's go 152. And we'll bring that back just a touch there. Oh, that's a big fast. Again, as I said, hitting quite a few fasts here. Right. That should be okay, I reckon. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that go for that. Should have knocked it up a club there, actually. This could be a bogey. Come on, let's see if we can get this. Nope, it's going to turn, is it? Oh, we did get it. Nice one. Nice save there. Terrible chip, though. Okay, fifth hole, par four. Ooh, right. Can you go here? Or oh, we can go over here. Probably over here is better angle into the green. Nine mile up. Excuse me. Nine mile an hour wind coming in from the right there. I feel a little bit uh, hoarse today on my throat. Right. I hope I'm 
not catching a cold or anything because Lost Ark comes out tomorrow and it's a game I've been waiting for a long, long time. All right, that should be good. Come on. Oh, we hit a peach. 102% though, a no, little bit harder than I thought. Come on, hold it. Yeah, Lost Ark, I mean, I play a lot of MMOs. I've probably played all the MMOs out there that have been out from WoW to Guild Wars 2s to Star Wars The Old Republic, The Elder Scrolls Online, Wildstar, everything. And Lost Ark comes out tomorrow, and it's one of the ones that I've been waiting for a long time. It's been out since 2018, I think, uh, Korea. And it's just coming out to the West uh, tomorrow. Well, the 11th, but I bought a Founders Pack, so you get three days early <laughs> and start on it, which is quite good for an MMO if you can get ahead of the big crowd that comes in uh, when the, the official release comes out. So I can't wait for that for tomorrow. It's going to be good. Okay. 40 feet, two inches down. It's got quite a big turn. Left to right. Let's aim that right out here, I think. I just want to get this close and pick up the bird at the par. As I always say with these, if it drops, then it is a bonus. Oh, it's turning quite nice. That should do. Come on, stop that. Oh, I could have aimed that quite a bit more over to the left there. But we get the pass save, so that's not too bad. Okay, six hole, par four, 328. Slight downhill here. Very thin over there. Let me see where the driver puts us. Oh, ho, ho. do you know what? I'm just going to smack this. Ooh, slight slow. I did try to hold it up in my, the transition a bit longer just to get a bit more power on it. Tell you what, that is not too bad. It's going to leave us a little pitch. That'll do, I reckon. Let's bring that all the way down there. Come on, run. Keep going. That's not bad. Hopefully we might be able to get the birdie here. Oh, I hit that too hard. A little pacey. Yeah, felt that one. If I hit that a bit softer, the brake would have um, took it in, I think. Is that another par? Yep, another par. Nice string of pars there. Let's see if we can break it here with the par three. Oh, I like that little bridge work going over there. Okay, seventh hole, 204 yards, 23 feet up. Eight mile an hour wind against us. So I am going to go with a four hybrid here. And I am going to bring it in from the right hand side. Okay, we get the perfect. It's turning nice. Oh, that is not bad at all from there. We will take that every day and on Sunday. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, yes. So that breaks the string of pars we just had with another birdie. That's, that's up to minus four. Okay, eighth hole, par five, 615 yards, 73 feet down. You got a nice little creek there, just going down the left-hand side of the fairway. Downhill, so I can't see us reaching the green in two here. I don't know, because that wind is going to help us quite a bit, but 615. Slight fast, 103%. Should get a good bit of distance on this. That's one heck of a drive. 373 yards. We can reach the green too. Wow. Right, I'm going to bring this all the way back to the four hybrid. I'm going to bring it in from the left here. Oh, slight slope. That uh, should be good, though. And it is, I think. 
Now, I might take a screenshot on this because I quite liked what he's done here with the rock work and that over there. Oh, was that hit the fringe? No, just on the green. Right, let me take a quick screenshot for the thumbnail. Let's turn the pattern grid off. Let's bring it over here. Let's bring it this way a little bit. And we'll bring it down, I think. Yeah, that should do around about there somewhere, I think. Yeah, that'll be all right. Right. Uh, let's put the pattern grid back on. Right, that's not bad actually. It's not got much of a turn on it. We're on there for an eagle putt, so even if we get close, we're going to pick up the birdie. Turn, go on. Oh, just missed. Oh, I've knocked that past quite a bit. I should have just made sure we were close enough. Pick up the birdie. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Oh, crap. I hit that way too hard. Put my neck. What am I doing? Concentrate. Come on. That's still going. Blooming is. Damn it. <laughs> it's back to virtually where it was. Well, not quite, but... Right, come on. I need to get this. Turn. Oh, damn it. I've done it again. I've knocked it past quite a bit there. Right, bogey. That's not good. On for an eagle and end up with a bogey. Not good at all. Right, what have we got here? Ninth hole, par four. 363 yards. Right. Where is the green? Over there, so... Looks like a second shot. We're going to go right over the water. So I'm going to bring that down to the five wood here. Is it 363? Yeah, definitely five wood. That'll do. Good, perfect. Right. Over the lake. Eight mile an hour wind. We should be good. Just going in there with a the pitching wedge, I reckon. That wind should carry it up onto the green. I hope. Yeah, definitely. Nine mile an hour wind now. Oh, felt that one fast. The wind's turning it though. Come on. Oh, blue neck. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Right, come on. Get in there. Yeah, little beauty. Go back to minus four. It's quite hard to miss the little chips like that, to be honest. Right, 10th hole, par four, 315. Three wood there. Um, let's have a look. Driver. Oh, driver. 10 mile an hour wind though. We should still make it. Oh crap. Don't go. Don't pull too far. Oh, sugar. Damn it. Yeah, we would have made that if I hit a nice one. <laughs> I'm going for it again. Come on. Oh shit, that's in the blooming creek. <laughs> ah, reload. Oh no, we've got to drop that. I was going to go for that again now. <laughs> oh, blooming heck. That's a good par four though. Uh, par five, should I say. I could have made that. I could have made it. But we didn't. 
Oh, damn it. 117. Right. Let's put that forward just a little bit. So this is going to drop us down quite a bit. So what's that? That's for six, I think. No, this is for... Oh, this is for a double bogey. Come on. Go on, go on. Whoa. Had to go for it though, we did have to go for it. Risk reward. Oh risk, no reward. <laughs> that takes us right down to minus one. Three shots we lost on that one hoe. Okay, 11th hoe, par five, 507, eight feet down. But this, we should reach the green in two again here. If we hit a nice one. That should do. The wind should just bring it in for us a little bit. Lovely. Come on, let's get on a green and two here. Tell you what, the greens are pretty tough. Well, let's aim that way over here. And bring that right back That. Nice, we've got the perfect. That's turning quite nice. I think it's going to be left of the pin, though. Oh, come on, get up there. Oof, just made that. That wind turned that quite a bit. We're on a bit of a right to left slope, though. Okay, come on, stop, boat. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, it's still going, look at that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Right, come on. Go, go. Oh, a little bit more. But we should pick up the birdie. It takes us back up to minus two. Okay, 12th hole, par three, 150, five up. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's bring that right down to that. Okay, we get the perfect, 100%. I put quite a bit of loft on that, so I'm kind of hoping it brings it back quite a bit. Oof. That'll do. Got a chance, we got a chance. Nope. Oh, big. Big break on that one. And again, it's went past quite a bit there. Mind you, the greens are, what, 179? So they are quite pacey. I could probably afford to kind of pull the, the marker back quite a bit, to be honest. Get in, get in. Okay, nice part. Okay, 13th hole, par four. Okay, we should be able to just smash one off the tee here. Nice view off the tee as well. Ooh, slightly slow. It should hold the fairway though, I think. It's a pity those windmills don't actually turn. Hopefully when we do uh, get a new game, they, 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 they sort of bring things like that in. Uh, some of the assets uh, around the course got animations and on them. Right, 91, 96. Yeah, we should be good there. Okay, we get perfect. Lovely. Oh, that's running up. Very nice. That should give us a good chance at the birdie putt here. Okay, nice. Back up to minus three. Yeah, that 10th hole was a killer. <laughs> 14th hole, par four. Oh, that was a slow, I felt that one. I actually thought it was going to be a lot more than that, though. We still reached the fairway. Not too bad. 
Not too shabby. Okay. Right, definitely want to go on this top section here. 152 carry, 153 two feet up. We'll put some loft on it, not too much. Okay, lovely, good, perfect. Hopefully it doesn't go too far past. We definitely want to be up the top there. Oh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. That's got a massive break on it. I'm going to pull that back because I do not want to go too far past this because of that slope. All right, stop bolt. That'll do it. I'll take a par there. Yeah, if I hit that too hard, that would have been way down the bottom of the green there. And I probably would have ended up with another bogey. Okay, 15th hole, part three. 167, 14 down. Right. Let's try that there. Again, fast. Oh, look at that turn. Way left of the pin. Still on the green though. Again, gives you the chance. Okay, 40 feet, five inches are down. I'm gonna pull this back. Because again, I do not want to go too far past here. Oh, it's gonna turn a little bit too much to the right. Nice pace on that one though. That'll do it. We'll take the part. Okay, 16th hole, par four, 397, 21 feet down. Three wood. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the driver, but I'm gonna pull it back just a touch. That'll do it, 93%. Should get us right down there. That's not bad at all, actually. Right, got the wind right against us here. Ho, 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 ho. Right, let's go to about there, I reckon. Got a bit of a backstop there, so even if we do hit that, it's going to come back down towards the hole. Lovely, good, perfect. Ooh, that wind's turned a little bit more than I thought it did. Is it going to come back any? Come on, come on. Yeah, it's gaining speed. Come on. Is it? Is it? Yes! Nice birdie. Get in there. Okay, back to minus four where we were. After that disastrous double bogey. What was that triple? I think it was a double. Was it? Can't remember. <laughs> right, 186, two foot down. Par three. Going to bring this right back to the eight iron here, I reckon. Aim it way over to the right. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, come on. 102%. It should turn towards the pin here. Come on, hit that. Oh, it stayed on, on this right-hand side. I wanted it. There's a little, there was a slope that I wanted it to hit. And sort of feed it around towards the hole, but it didn't. Okay, kind of a double breaker. Okay, 39 feet, one foot up. Should start to turn back in. Oh, that'll do that. And we'll take the par here and on to the final hole. Okay, par five. 539, so we've got a good chance here to get on the green to it. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I fell that one slow. Oh, I'm glad I played way over to the left here. Oh, that tree might come into play. The one down by the green should be okay. We should be getting right over the top of that. But that wind is going to kind of help us here as well, I reckon. Right. I think I'm just going to go with a four iron. The hybrid's going to be way too much. Oh, come oh, I thought that was slow. Perfect. Get in now. A bit of a slope at the front of the green there, so I don't think... Is it? Is it? Oh, it has made it. Come on, is it going to hold? I don't think it is, though. It's just going to come off. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let me take a quick screenshot of this one. I do apologise. Because you've got the clubhouse and that in the background there. You've got that little planted area as well. So let's come over here. Yeah, that's nice, that. Let's just come over here a little bit. Get up. Come on, tree. Out of the way. Uh, yeah. I think that looks all right there. Might take a closer one with the, the clubhouse there. That'll do. That'll do lovely. Right, let's put the, see where we are. Whoa, that looks good. Come on. Can we get it? Oh no, not enough. I should have pushed that way forward. We should pick up the birdie though. Just picked up the birdie there. Okay, minus five, that is not too bad after a, a double bogey and a bogey. So that was like four shots it took off of me there. So that was a triple bogey, yeah. Triple bogey and a bogey, I think we had there. So lost quite a few shots. So that is a Valle del Oso. That is the rookie design competition course. And that is by Kennedy2411. Very nice course. As I've said with all these rookie design courses, they've been knocking it out of the park this year. Every one of them that I've played so far is absolutely fantastic. So give it a play, guys, even though it's been out for a little while, this one. It's had quite a few plays already. If you haven't played it, give it a play. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.